Dear all, in this video, I am going to discuss about uh, SIP SM interview question. So, I was started my career in the year 2011. So, I made some notes. So, I took the screenshot of those notes. So, because last week when I am uh, searching for something, I got a note. So, I plan to share with you people. Probably, it will help you. Okay. So, initially, I had put a lot of efforts, you know, taking the interview standard. So, most of the interview cracked based on this note only okay that time i am not sure about uh, now how the interview process uh, nowadays uh, but still i will share this one you probably if you watch this video at least you will get an idea so based on that you can uh, go for uh, interviews like even like some of the fresher if they don't know okay what kind of questions might be asked by the interviewer and all so based on at least you will get an idea okay i will give the some idea or so you will get an uh, some knowledge so based on this uh, video so let me go to the my note so as i mentioned so again i cannot give the 100 percent guarantee that uh, okay so you will get only this kind of question but probably this almost like uh, around 62 percent you can you will get an uh, uh, interview questions on this note okay again it depends on uh, some scenario so might be uh, you can expect different questions okay so let me uh, let me start with uh, some uh, uh, basic uh, things so actually uh, these notes and all you know i prepared uh, when after my you know uh, training so so i supposed to go for interview that time now we did had that much of resource and all. so based on my training i made my own notes okay so first topic is which is related to posting to financial accounting so if you want to do the posting to financial accounting like after you consider on the payroll the uh, output should be posted to the finance okay so we can post it two ways one is using the uh, t code that is the pc double zero underscore m99 underscore uh, cip this is the t code and ac38 uh, rp uh, cip double uh, zero is the uh, program name okay if you go to the t code sc38 if you enter the rp so you can do the posting in two ways okay one is t code as well as one is one one with the uh, sc38 uh, program so first you need to understand the what is uh, posting to financial accounting it's an integration between hr and finance so i cannot directly post to jail account okay so as you are aware of the financial so most of the output it will as a financial account it will goes to the uh, general ledger account okay so it's a bridge between a waste type and the jail account is called as a symbolic account okay so again i'm repeating this is very important so when you're posting between uh sap SM to finance so waste type and uh, uh, uh jail account uh, it's like it's a big bridge okay so as a symbolic account is a bridge between waste type and jail account so assign the waste types to symbolic account and the symbolic account to the jail account okay so first we'll assign the waste type to the symbolic and symbolic to uh, uh, general ledger account so now an interview asks you that like one symbolic can be assigned to the multiple waste type or uh, uh, the one symbolic accounts to the multiple jail account okay so that is both are possible the one symbolic account can be assigned to the multiple waste type that is possible and also one waste type assigns to the multiple symbolic account that is also possible okay so one symbolic account can be assigned to the multiple jail accounts still if you want to do one symbolic account to uh, multiple uh, multiple uh, general ledger account that is also possible so where you will do this is the navigation path okay so we are calling as an img in sap hcm uh, so this is the path if you go to spro img payroll us payroll which I, I worked initially started my career with the us payroll so that's the reason i made a note for the us pay, uh, payroll okay so yes payroll and posting to financial account if you see here a pc uh, underscore double uh, zero underscore 99 it's a common okay posting is a term, uh, common uh, decoder and even the program is also common okay so so activities in hr system and activities in uh, uh, account system this is the place which you are doing and here we have something called employee grouping and uh, symbolic account okay so these are the some of the features where we are uh, not defaulting okay ppmod employee subgroup for uh, account determination and uh, obert okay this is for uh, employee subgroup for uh, pcr where we are defaulting the sub values using the feature okay so this is all about the symbolic account 
so when i took the interview for accenture so this was the my first question to be honest okay so i explained in details and after that i asked for two three uh, questions then uh, i cleared the technical round and i got an offer okay so this is all about so a little bit on the authorization so th normally this will be done by the basis but still as a sim consultant if you know some of the t codes that would be helpful okay so sc01 to create the uh, creation of a user id from a uh, basis people and uh, sc53 to check the uh, the missing authorization so if you would like to know the what kind of authorization is uh, given or missing so you can use the sc53 and uh, pfcg t code to create the roles if you want to create a new roles you can create it but normally this will be created by the basis people but still in case in the interview and all if they ask you at least the t code what is the purpose of uh, how they will create a uh, authorization and all you should know the these t codes okay now coming to the uh, features in the interview if they ask you that uh, can we create our own uh, the custom features the custom feature used to default some uh, values to the respective fields okay so yes that is possible so if you go to p03 t code so you can copy any of the existing one and you can uh, okay you can do that but there are some important note uh, sub feature uh, status okay can save only but we cannot activate it okay so always remember the sub feature should always map it to the main feature okay so main feature need to be activated and sub feature we cannot activate just we can save it okay and again uh, if you come to the sap hcm so info types are important again again in the interview if you uh, got a uh, question can we create uh, uh, custom info types as that is possible so and again this is not a technical uh, uh, it is not in a functional normally it will be it will be created by the abap people but still uh, so as a functional concept it is you should know that which is the t code and all okay uh, so you can go to the SE 11 or you can use this uh, I think T code uh, PMO Z okay so using this you can create the own uh, info types custom info types so normally we use the custom info type with the uh, number range starting with uh, 9000 okay and uh, this T code PP03 to create a OM action okay and pp02 display okay if you go to organization structure okay org information if you want to create it so pp03 create the om organization management action and pp02 display just to display the uh, structure so and these are the some of the important uh, note okay so assignment of uh, pa2 company code and uh, employee number or the maximum is uh, eight digit okay it means that so we need to assign the personal area to the company code okay because uh, if you come to the uh, sap SCM, so we have the structure okay so personal area and sub uh, uh, enterprise structure personal uh, structure and all so if you come to enterprise structure so here you'll be having three one is personal area and personal sub area and company code okay personal sub areas are assigned to personal area and personal area assigned to the company code okay so these are all just for uh, my purpose that time created uh, no, or make a note of just to remember that okay so employee number the maximum of a digit and employee number should not be repeated and it is uh, in a unique in the client the employee attribute assigns to the employee subroute and the uh, employee grouping and employee subgrouping and assign in organization data so coming to some uh, uh, some more question so which are all the of the features defaulted defaulted in info type 001 okay so default means based on the some input system automatically default the uh, values okay so how many uh, features we can use it in the uh, or default values in the info type 001 okay so those are all the abkrs that is later called uh, payroll area pinch that is for administration group and uh, vdsk1 that is for organization key okay so these are all the three features which we can uh, default in the info type 001 and again similar way so in info type 8 which are the features we can default it one is lgmst that is for a remuneration type okay so 
again interview they will ask you that what is the remuneration type okay so that is called the number of waste type divided by the waste type model okay it means that which are the waste type should be defaulted based on what conditions okay so that is the purpose of lgmst and a uh, tariff is uh, 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 defaulting the pay scale type and uh, pay scale area so ansel is for uh, annual salary default and uh, uh, prefix is uh, default the uh, ansel okay so these are the some of the features which you can use it and default the values so again what is the next question is so why we use the ig mode okay for ig mode used to uh, modifying the info type groups okay so while hiring an employee okay so we, when you're hiring an employee you need to create uh, some of the uh, sequence of info types okay so that time normally you'll use the ig mode okay so in interview they will ask you but normally no one will ask you the direct questions okay so they will use some technical uh, names okay in sap hcm these are the, some of the technical names which we are frequently using okay so why we use the ig mode means the for uh, modify the info type groups while uh, hiring an employee So next question in which uh, info type we can see all the structure okay so as i mentioned uh, enterprise structure and the personal uh, uh, structure uh, so all this we can see it in the info type 001 so where we can find the cost center okay so in info type uh, 001 we can see under the enterprise structure okay so next question is in info type 000 okay which are all the heads uh, uh we can see it okay if you go to info type 001 there will be multiple uh, sections or we can see the heads okay so there we can see the personal action and the status and uh, organizational assignments okay so these are the three main heads or sections which you can see it so how we can maintain info types okay so there are the three ways to maintain it one is single screen okay so we'll go to the uh, pa 30 so you'll select the info types and you'll update okay employee data that is one way another one is the first that we'll go to the ps 70 so where we can uh, update very quickly okay so you can select the multiple employees and you can select the, you can put the data and you can execute it okay that is called ps 70 so personal action is uh, used for the hiring action actually okay so when hiring an employee the, the sequence of info types it will be triggered based on our configuration one by one okay so again this is for the individual employee pa uh, 40 another one we have something called pa 20 uh, that is for just to view the uh, info types okay but to maintain these are the three options okay p 30 pa 70 and pa 40 so which are the info type generated by the system okay so when you complete the hiring process system automatically create uh, some of the info types okay so we are not going to create this info types which will be created okay so probably you can expect this is very important in most of the interview i um i uh, know the uh, interviewer they used to ask these questions okay the system generated info types are uh, info type uh, 003 and uh, 302 okay uh, I think this is for info type 003 for uh, payroll status and uh, uh, zero, uh, info type 0302 for I think uh, actions, I think the multiple actions in a day. Okay, something like that. So, which info types integration between HR and uh, ESD? Okay, so the integration part which will, which will connect it between these two modules is info type uh, 900. Okay. So where we can see log the personal number okay so in case you want to know due to some reason you want to log should not be considered for the payroll okay so in this scenario uh, we will go to info type 3 and we will log the personal number so where we can control the employee uh, retroactive accounting okay so there are uh, retro there will be some multiple scenarios are there i think three okay so all these three we can control it in the info types uh, 003 okay in which are the info types we cannot find the uh, beta and enda so beta and enda means begin date and end date in sap terminology okay so for as uh, for uh, that one so in info type 003 we cannot find any begin date and end date okay info type 15 that is called one time remuneration 
okay and another one is the off cycle the k267 so okay so these are all the which are all the info types normally we will not maintain the begin date and end date okay or beta or end up so where we can see set the uh, the parameters okay so we can go to directly su3 so spro uh, personal management personal administration basic setting so these are all the some of the places will maintain user parameters okay now um, like uh, maintain user parameters number ranges and uh, default the number okay so next question is so where we can default the uh, position okay so if you go to input type 001 okay you need to default uh, some position okay so we'll go to the we call it as a system table that is a uh, t77 uh, a0 so table table number that is a system table so might be you people are surprised over so why i am so uh, still i am good because i learned myself each and every uh, thing in the payroll okay or in sap hcm the still i have the good uh, control on the sap hcm but i'm not interested uh, because i'm very interested to work on a success factor uh, employee central module time management and benefits so but still whatever i learned uh, within uh, we are, you know, some five to six months plus i work for one and a half year so everything i put extra effort learning all these things okay so system table it very it is very important for uh, even today when you are working on ecp s4 or something so we need to do a lot of settings in uh, uh, t double seven s zero table okay so we called as an employee uh, preli to default the position okay so you need, you need to remember this technical name uh, plugin uh, uh, preli so where you can default okay you can put any number that will be defaulted in the info type 001 so where can we the configure the employee active status employee status and uh, the training status okay uh, you, you understand what is the question so in the okay while reading itself you'll understand so all this configuration will do it in the SPRO personal management personal administration organization data so there you'll be having something called uh, define employee attributes so there uh, you, we will do this uh, employee active status employee status and uh, training status so how many transaction class uh, we have and uh, name them okay so we have the two uh, transaction uh, classes one is uh, uh, a that is called the uh, master data and the uh, time data another one is b for the applicant uh, data okay so a, a master data and time data means where we are maintaining for uh, employee so applicant data it is related to uh, probably uh, recruitment even sap SCM, we had a recruitment module under so we used to use it for uh, that one okay applicant data So next question, can we modify the time constraints of the info type? Okay, so in SAP HCM, so we have some, each and every info type, it uh, owns some time constraint, okay? Uh, so that is called time constraint. So if yes, and uh, support the uh, comment, means if you say, okay, if our answer is that, yes, then we will do that, okay? Or you will go to this one table, uh, T8, or t 58 to a table, or uh, I will go to this uh, navigation SPRO, PMP, and customizing procedure info type and info type. So, there we can uh, change the time constraint of the info type. Okay. Next question is how many time constraints we have and uh, name them. So, we have the totally seven time constraints uh, 0 or 1, 2, 3, A, B, and Z, and T. So, these are all the time constraints which. Uh, associated with the uh, some info types okay so in interview I ask you the question again give me some example for info type 1 info type 2 info type 3 a b z t and r okay so you should be able to answer for that as well can we change uh, employee hiring and term uh, termination okay so yes so you can go to the pa 30 utilities okay uh, so change entry or the leaving date okay so we can do that next question is can we customize the personal action as I mentioned right when hiring an employee so can we do that personal uh, personalized actions or if you go to the any of the employee there will be some headings will be there okay so probably on that one 
uh, actions and additional actions and uh, updations and rehire and termination okay so yeah this is the one actually so when you initiate the termination the system should trigger some say, sequence of info type okay so when you do the uh, uh, what I would say rehire then set of info type should be triggered okay yes that we can do that where, where we can do again is PRO personal management personal administration customized procedure actions and set personal actions okay next question is uh, it is possible to hire and fire an employee on the same day and support your answer okay so hiring and termination is not possible the because of the date control okay that time uh, i think from now i think it is possible because even in the success factor so today we can hiring and termination can happen so in that scenario uh, probably in case if you are replicating your data to sap hcm it should be behave same way okay so if that is if you see the date these are notes on 2011 so now it's 2024 so it's almost around 12 years okay coming to this answer probably now it is possible hiring and termination in success factor is possible okay so we call it as a no show so probably in sap hcm also it will support now okay so in uh, when you are configuring some of the things so action center so uh, interview they will ask you some questions okay if you go if you are purely going to work on sap hcm okay so that is called uh, msn 20 means withdrawal msn 21 means rehire and msn 32 means uh, early retirement so we'll do some when you're doing these personal actions we'll update some of the uh, values okay so the, these are the values normally in interview they will ask you what is msn 20 what is msn 21 like that okay so you should have gone through this as well So these are all the steps where we will do that okay uh, again in the same table so we have something called uh, stat 1 means a custom stat 2 means employment 0 1 2 yeah, each and every value it has its own values okay uh, stat 3 means uh, the special payment okay so when you're doing the personal actions now we'll update this as well in the 529a table can we modify the screen headers and uh, screen modification if yes support yes when you go to info type so each and every will be having headers one for payroll one for actions one for time management and done okay for each heading uh, there will be some associated info types we can configure it okay so answer is yes we can uh, modify if you go to spro personal management personal administration if you see this customizing uh, user uh, interface okay so where we'll do the, all this uh, screen modification so next one is uh, uh, as I mentioned, right, uh, some info type that time, right? Yeah, use 0302 uh, to perform in the multiple actions on the same day, okay? Like uh, hiring and uh, joining our promotions, okay? Today I'm hired and uh, we'll do some promotion, so that will go and store in the info type uh, 302. For that, we need to do some setup. Uh, the multiple actions can be performed in SAP HCM as well. So in interview, they will ask you, okay, what is I and S, okay, or related to info type, uh, uh, means I may just made a note, I and S uh, are related to info type menu configuration, okay. So next question is, uh, is uh, G and M are uh, related to info group configuration. In the interview, if they ask, okay, what is the purpose of uh, G and M? So these are uh, used or you know related to info group configuration. Okay, so just I'll go back to once again. I and S are uh, related to info type menu configuration. Okay, and G and are related to info group configuration. Okay. So every action associated with uh, only one info group at a time. However, so one. Uh, IEG and the associated with the multiple actions at the uh, same time so uh, it, it's a technically I think you've already got trained or uh, so something you know all these things okay so action IG and IG action 1 action 2 action 3 so just for my reference note I've written and EDQ means lock and unlock okay LIC 9 is for a default okay INS is for the create for a, a action is the not uh, converted to change okay 
so next question and how do you track the multiple changes uh, in info type okay as i mentioned if you know okay some info types now frequently they got change multiple changes okay so this is the uh, no the program code which will you use it okay rpu or uh, aud double uh, zero or you can go to the navigation uh, this nodes are common personal manage uh, management and personal administration so under personal administration you will go to the tools okay and here you will go to the revision uh, then you can set up a change document okay or you can straight away run this pre -co program code also okay so you can get the audit for that multiple changes in the info type So next one is the what do you uh, mean by the dynamic actions okay uh, in success factor we'll call is a to, uh, call it as a uh, propagation so in sap scm that time we used to call as a dynamic action okay so just writing some logics to default some values okay so changes on uh, the, uh, the primary info types will be automatically triggered the secondary one okay it means that will you go and update for some info type okay in success factor what you will do you'll update the field so based on that it will update another field okay or we'll update some uh, data in the job information through the business rule we can default the uh, composition portrait the similarly in sap hcm also that time and still i think i'm not sure whether we are using or not so when you update any of the info type say for example uh, i will update the address info type example okay so based on that i need to import uh, you know default some values for the other info types okay so using the dynamic actions which was able to do that okay so that is what the answer so change on the primary info type will be automatically trigger the secondary or the dependent info type so there is these are the some of the example okay if you update this info type 16 it will update the 19 so here you'll update the info type 2 it will update info type 21 so for uh, us if you update the address info type 6 system it automatically update the uh, 207 residential tags and uh, garnishment like 194 and 195 it's automatically get updated okay so what is the transaction code of, uh, for release and uh, access the transport okay so when you do the configuration we will save some of the configuration to the transport okay uh, transaction code for release and access the transport okay to release the transport we have to enter the uh, sc09 or sc10 if you enter the t code and you can go to your own transport you can release it okay so if you want to import it in the another system so you need to go to the uh, t code scc okay so remember these are the t code which is normally used for uh, transport movement one uh, instance to another instance or in sap SM we are calling as a uh, client so some of the questions are which is related to organization management so tell me the uh, om object uh, status or the process okay so these are the normal uh, you know, status of the object so active planned submitted and approved and rejected okay so these are the five status so name the info types between om and uh, personal administration okay so where will communication between the these two modules okay so again uh, if you remember i as mentioned right uh, system table okay t double seven is zero initially okay in the same system table so you'll go and activate this one plugin org uh, time constraints maintained for info types okay so the sum of the you know uh, where we'll go and create the uh, organizations okay opv is for the planned version create okay OAP for the active plan version and uh, PS0 uh, to change uh, the current uh, plan version. Okay. So again, I was highlighted right. This is system table is very important. And which are the uh, objects or the building blocks of formation management in a SAP SM. So these are the normal uh, object which you normally will use it. Okay, O means organization unit, uh, C means a job, uh, S means position, T means task, K means call center, and P means a person. Okay. 
so next question is the methods are ways to uh, create organization structure so one is organization and staffing method and export mode and uh, simple maintenance and uh, general structure okay so out of these two uh, organization or staffing method and export mode are the uh, important uh, methods where we are using to create the organization structure okay so how many areas uh, have been uh, organization screen okay so when you go to the organization uh, screen so we have something called a search area work area hit area and object attribute okay i'm not sure these questions and they will ask you but uh, it was oh uh, no i prepared for my understanding okay but normally in case if you got kind this kind of you know questions at least still this question is importance of uh, export mode okay the answer is uh, access uh, direct uh, om info types organization management info type it will be displayed based on the object type okay you can specify which object need to be displayed okay that is the one uh, benefit all the exceptional cases can be maintained by the export mode okay if you want to do any some changes and the exceptional cases uh, if you go to the export mode that is possible okay and uh, these are all the some of the uh, what i would say uh, probably i think it's a t code which we can uh, uh, use it okay p010 directly go to the organization unit okay p0 uh, po03 for job uh, po13 for position po01 for the work center pfct for the task category and pp01 for the general okay status of the plan version okay so active plan version and the current plan version okay the where will do this configuration spr1 uh, personal management and the global setting in uh, personal management the plan version maintenance okay i think this is, this is all the just you know some of the uh, note which i made it okay in case if they ask interview okay what is the info type 1013 relationship between om and pa and uh, uh info type 1008 for relationship between om and uh, enterprise and info type 00 for relationship between om and uh, payroll okay uh, if you update the info type 1008 and uh, 101013 so no need to enter the position uh, while uh, hiring an uh, employee okay so if you update these two so system automatically take it okay while hiring so once enter the position system it will automatically default the the personal area and employee grouping and the employee subgrouping it's a dynamically update in the info type 001 can we create the custom object and uh, where will you create that work okay so yes we can create the custom object spro personal management organization management and date model uh, enhancement and maintain the object type okay so if you want you can create your own object as well again uh, when you're creating the relationship in the objective we have something called uh, a and b so i had some other excel i could not able to open that because it's a password protected so in the next sheets and all if i got i will explain it but uh, normally in the interview they will ask you all those questions okay So in OM uh, organization management, what is uh, this uh, four dollars? Okay. So first two dollars are a planned version, and the second uh, two dollars is uh, related to custom object. Uh, okay, custom object related. Okay. So what is the transaction code to access all the relationship? Okay, want to see okay all the relationship? Then you can go to OO, which is the T code where you can access all the uh, relationship or related between the OM objects. So, can we create the custom relationship if yes and support the answer yes we can so where will you create our own custom relationship uh, again you come to organization management basic setting default uh, uh, sorry data model enhancement uh, relationship maintenance and maintain relationship okay so here we can create our own custom relationship so where we will get the reports of uh, evaluation path okay uh, you can go to easy access information system hr reports organization management organization unit organization structure and organization structure okay so where you can get here uh, valuation path the phases of the project i think this is a very common question and uh, 
uh, ASAP methodology. So project preparation, blue business blueprint, okay, realization, final preparation, and goal. We all success factor also is the same thing. So here uh, normally business blueprint which, which is created uh, based on the world document in SAP HCM. But in the success factor, normally we use the uh, we called as a workbook. Okay, so remaining phases are the same. So these are the landscape. So normally we'll use it in the SAP HCM. So like uh, there will be development and the quality in a client or a production server. Okay, or we call it as a client or servers. Again in the development, normally we'll be having three kinds of uh, clients. Okay, or servers. One is the development client. One is the sandbox. Another one is the unit testing. For quality and uh, UAT and all, there will be separate called uh, UAT client and the production. We will be having the production client. Okay. So this is a normal uh, three levels of uh, 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 landscape. So so where we will do the unit testing again. Now it will be same in the development uh, server only do the unit testing. The what is the difference between uh, dependent and uh, independent? okay that where we have their own uh, unique features okay but in the independent they have the common in features okay so here we have the example the payroll schema is a country dependent okay and the time schema is a country independent okay so if you go to time management it's a common okay so you can use for any country but coming to payroll schemas each and every country it has its own schemas okay us we have separate schemas and uh, uk we have separate schema and india we have a separate schemas okay so next question is uh, how do you uh, call the custom or uh, info groups okay so we'll do using the user parameters uh, call through this one a uh, ugr user group okay using this uh, steps we will do you now create our own custom or uh, info groups so molga means uh, country dependent and ugr means uh, country independent when you are doing this one we'll use something molga okay ugr can we copy the plan version and if yes support your answer yes we can uh, copy the plan version through t code uh, re underscore rs uh, okay so plan version double zero okay you can copy the plan version whenever you want it so probably in the next video i'll go with some more payroll and uh, some other uh, questions okay so thanks for watching